What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading here with a trade recap, believe it or not, on November 2nd, 2018. I went live for a split moment at my day job and although I had to be at work at 8 o'clock my time, which is 30 minutes after the opening bell, I did place a trade while I was at work. It went pretty well. A couple things I just wanted to go over with you uh, in today's trade and then also I have a couple things that I want to share with you, talk to you about. And so let's get started. I traded this signal right here on SPY. This is the five minute chart on SPY here. Got a signal, traded it. I was in that trade for a whopping exactly, exactly three minutes. That's as long as the trade was, three minutes. Most of my trades are very quick, short, getting get outs. That's my sort of my, the, the, the way that I like to trade and pretty cool. Pretty cool, as you can see here, signal came in beautifully. I did get a signal here, but per my criteria, I this signal w would have been, I, I neglected it, completely forgot about it. That's the neatest part about this, is I developed this strategy and I get signals all day long, but I'm picky about which signals I, I trade. I don't trade every single uh, arrow, every single signal. I trade just the best uh, the, the best signals there. So with that, I wanted to show you here and I didn't explain to you exactly what I traded and how I traded. I just showed you just the pricing here. So I've been trading, I've been placing some, some limit orders when I buy in. That's definitely not my style. My style is just to get, get in uh, with market uh, buys. But anyways, I placed a uh, market uh, buy order, excuse me, a, a limit order at 161, got filled at 160, and then disaster hit. When I went to sell my position, it showed up here. Uh, I right clicked on it and I didn't see the close position button option. I panicked. I went into panic mode and got on my phone, my cell phone, called Tastyworks and actually had a representative uh, sell for me. I told him just sell as soon as possible, uh, market sell it, don't want, to, uh, don't want to be in this situation, me not being able to sell, so just sell. And that's what happened. And check that out, guys. Exactly three minute long trade. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I think it's pretty impressive, honestly. Exactly three minute long trade. Back up to 548.98, I'm up. I'm up just a hair under 10% of my portfolio. It's pretty interesting, guys. It's really interesting to trade with just $500. It makes me not necessarily second guess my trades, but it makes me become more picky. I'm more picky with what trades, what signals I trade with. I bought the November 5th, 270.50 puts, 274.50 puts, bought them at 160, sold at 175, uh, just a hair under 10%, and I traded it with two contracts. Here's the bad part. Here is the bad part. The bad part is check out that ginormous move. I got in right here. Uh, let's just give or take, let's just say, conservative speaking, 274.38 all the way to 269.62. What did those puts go to? So they actually ended up getting to $4.25. That is absolutely incredible. $4.25 when I bought at $1.60. 8.01, I bought right here and sold at 175 about right here. Yeah. Literally this tiny move in the entire option, <laughs> ginormous move, 165%. They went up 165% from where I bought guys. Why are you not trading options? Keep chasing the penny stocks that you trade, even though they're all crap. Anyways, let's move on guys. So I want to give you guys some uh, quick stats. I know it's not a whole lot of data, but I just still wanted to mention it. It's worth mentioning anyways in the uh, trading world. Um, I have here just, you know, my, my trades. And if you haven't been following my trades, uh, this is all documented. You can go back to all my videos and actually see these through. So as since I've started with tasty, uh, tasty works, 
I've made a total of eight trades, um, good or bad, a total of eight trades, and I've won six of those trades. So right now I'm at a 75% win rate. Pretty cool. Let's just talk about my two losses. My first loss came in the second trade um, after I started trading with Tastyworks. Had I actually uh, traded my strategy, traded my plan, and stuck with my plan, I would have stuck in that trade and I would actually made a winning trade. So that's one. The second loss, which was my mistake, my ginormous, stupid, idiotic mistake of trading on the one minute instead of the five minute. Um, so I, I, I want to keep that in there because it is a trade nonetheless, but it, I didn't trade my actual strategy. So does it count? No, but for the record, it does. You remove that mistake. That stupid mistake, you remove it, and all of a sudden I jump up to 85% win rate. Um, but it's only eight, eight trades in two weeks, uh, so I have a lot of data to to sort of collect, keep going with, with the strategy. That being said, I my assessment of my strategy is that it's working now in today's market the markets have been extremely volatile which is ridiculous right they they have helped out a lot but i think the way that i designed my strategy it's going to keep me out of days where the markets aren't trending um, days where the market is just sideways i don't know we'll see we'll see uh, how it goes but i still thought it was pretty cool that i showed you um showed you my my trades again it's all documented all in my videos past videos you're more than welcome to go back and and take a look at those guys so um i'm back up uh, again i'm back up uh, as you saw um i'm back up to uh close to exactly 10 percent of my actual portfolio with today's trade today's trade helped out a lot um i made just a hair under 10 percent of the actual trade i hope that you guys appreciate all my subscribers all my viewers can appreciate the fact that i'm showing you my trades i want to become one of the most objective day traders um, out there either it's good or not either it hits my criteria or doesn't i don't want to second guess i don't want to trade on on hopes and dreams kind of thing so i'm actually showing you where i get in um, where I get out, I still have a lot to work on my exits, uh, exits in general, but, um, this is, this is trading it takes a lot of patience, takes a lot of dedication guys. Um, I'm never going to pretend to be something I'm not just for the sake of it guys. So please at least appreciate that. I'm not, um, I'm not showing you Lambos and mansions and I'm not telling you that, you know, I'm a millionaire, uh, by age, you know, 21 or 23 or whatever it is. And, and, uh, I, I don't, I don't pretend to, um, be this amazing success, successful day trader. Um, you see that, you know, I, I trade from my office at my day job, my part-time job. My son is, is with me sometimes and it's very real like it's it's much more than a trading channel um it's it's my life sometimes so anyways thank you so much everybody for watching let's try to get into some more um profitable trades next week also deadline for the drawing is monday shoot me an email by options trading at gmail.com with the subject line round two uh, pick a number between one and 50 and tell me a little bit about yourself whether that be um you know what your trading um sort of experience is career um you know anything your favorite color um anything anything that will just uh, let me know uh, who my viewers are, I would I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought about this video. I would greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a great weekend.